The disaster in the Pacific is thousands of miles away, but now a real concern that radiation spewing from the Fukushima nuclear power plant could be on our front doorsteps in just a matter of hours. Getting our first look at the, the damage to those reactors from a helicopter that's overhead now spewing dangerous levels of radiation and what's being called the last ditch effort to control the crisis. The helicopters and trucks are working around the clock, spraying water on the reactors to cool the nuclear material. The cloud of radiation coming from those reactors now expected to reach the West Coast in just a matter of days. So we want to check in with Pete, who's been watching this unfold with us. Where do things stand today weather-wise? Well, it looks like those, those westerly uh, the winds that are blowing uh, typically in those latitudes, Shelley, that blow from the west off to the east are moving toward the United States. So the forecast with the winds hasn't changed that much. The unknown, though, continues to be how much radiation will move across the Pacific. Here's the latest information that we have right now. And we do believe that that, that plume, if you will, of radiation as it uh, emits and moves from the island of Japan and moves across the Pacific Ocean as it travels across the Pacific Ocean should reach the west coast look at this, should reach the west coast of the United States, stay north of the Hawaiian Islands, Hawaiian Islands, but it should reach the west coast of the United States tomorrow. So just about 24 hours from now, it should reach the west coast. What impact, if any, will it have on the west, west coast as far as health concerns? Well, at this point, all the experts are telling us any impact would be minimal, if any. Very, very minor, if any. They relate this to be very similar to what happened in Chernobyl a number of years ago when Chernobyl had the radio radiation problems there. That uh, very low levels of radiation traveled around the world and the only problems were right there in the vicinity of the reactor. So they're relating this to the same thing, John and Shelley, that happened years ago. But by tomorrow afternoon this time, a very, very extremely low levels of radiation will continue to cross the Pacific and reach the west coast of the United States.